بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دار البلاغ للإنتاج والتوزيع تقدم اللهم انفعنا وارفعنا بالقرآن العظيم الذي أيدت سلطانه وقلت يا أعز من قائل سبحانه فإذا قرأناه فاتبع قرآنه ثم إن علينا بيانه أحسن كتبك نظاما وأفصحها كلاما وأبينها حلالا وحراما ظاهر البرآن من أحب البقاع إلى نفس الحبيب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ومن أرض عمتها بركة دعاء الخليل عليه السلام ومن داخل أروقة المسجد الحرام ننقلكم عبر موجات هذا الإصدار أمام بيت الله الحرام لتستمعون إلى الصوت المميز والقراءة المميزة We have a group with us that's joining us today from uh, St. Mark's, and uh, we're gonna, they're going to be watching us make a prayer. Um, the time, the prayer, actual prayer doesn't come in for another hour plus, so we're going to do a, um, an example of the prayer and an example of the calling to prayer. So I was just, uh, at this time, what we normally do as we come in for prayer and get ready to prepare for prayer, it would usually start with a call to prayer. So Ahmed, yeah. um, I was hoping maybe you could call uh, what is called like an adhan, and uh, that's like a, a call to prayer. Um, this is not that actually this is a call, this is a, like a sample, like a demonstration of the call to prayer. And uh, afterwards, um, Ali, Yes, and we're going to break into a wudu, um, and, and Ali can take a group of males to go down and instruct them how to do the wudu. Ali, you can do that. And Asia can take a group of uh, ladies down and get ready to prepare for uh, for, for prayer, um, which is called a wudu, which is a wudu she can take before prayer. Amen. And um, we're not going to, we're going to limit the youngsters uh, from like going up and down right now, so they've already you know, performed it, so we're just going to have a, a couple of the older teenagers uh, go down and prepare for uh, yeah. the prayer right now. So, are there more people you're expecting? Okay. So as we can, we can begin now with the call to prayer, and then um, if we can uh, just respectfully be quiet and listen, uh, and then we can uh, afterwards we can break up into the groups and, and, and begin to uh, the process, and then we'll go into a question and answer uh, after we perform. Uh, after we come back from performing the Yudu, um, we'll come back and actually do uh, like a, a, a shortened prayer, um, and we'll break into a question and answer after. Um, so again, welcome.
Grown up boys, go down with uh, Ali. Not the kids. Say it go. Go on. Eh? No, go. I want, yes, you too. Wasim, go. Go, we'll do. Just go. Demonstrate. No, 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 you guys go sit down. Everybody else sit down. Stop. We don't want many people back here. Stop. This is what I'm supposed to say. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Three times, but like, I, yeah, most, most of the um, yeah, I don't in know. The Quran, most of the things we do is like 
It's like three tries. This yeah, it's like okay. three of something is through this, through that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And then after that, you wash your head. If you see someone perform with do, many people do it many different ways. Like the next part I'm about to do right now, like for me, I do like this. Put some water in my mouth and then go down like this. And then back up like this. One. And then spit it out. And then. Wash my ear and you don't have to put a weapon face fat while I do that sometimes, but like, you just have to like wash your head one time, wash your ear one time, and then you're done with that. And then you wash your right leg from like working ball right here to like down here. And then like you wash your left, you wash your left from like right here to like the, the whole thing. And then after that, just grab a little bit of water. And then say, you recite, I shall not lie, I shall not lie, I wash you, I shall not lie. Like, I don't know the translation for you right now, but like, I'm just like working on the memorization of it. But later on, I was able to like know the translation from Arabic to English and stuff like that, but like, I just know how to do it right now. <laughs> so, man, we're done with that. You're basically done, and then you just walk up to the mask. With your right foot. With your right foot. Step up with your right foot here. Yeah. Step step up. Up. Khadija, isn't that your job? Yeah. You want to pick it up, please? Thank you for doing that. Yeah. And then when you're done, you just walk up to the mask. Yeah, you just walk up to the mask. Thank you. Yep. This is not supposed to be equal. You're not doing nothing. No. Are you taking pictures? It's business. <coughs> The thing is, mm -hmm. you take it and give to side. Side is not. Maybe not. Right? No, I, I said he should hold it for me. No, he like put it off. It's not. A, it's not recording. Excuse me. I need to. Hey, what? Okay, but I understand. But she, she no, I got the wiggle of the video. He said after everybody left, I still need to hold it. Okay, no problem. Yeah. After the world, what's the way you do it?
the second call to prayer. And this is when everybody begins to line up and begin to actually begin to pray. So we can have a second call to prayer. Uh, yeah. uh, while he's doing it, we need quiet change. You don't have to be talking, and uh, uh, you have to repeat after me if you if you know it. If you don't know, just be silent. You know. Stop.
learns the prayers of the opening chapter of the Quran. Um, and then we go on to recite uh, uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim with the name of the most, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer. And we say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. That's all the praise belongs to Allah, God, the Lord of all the worlds. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer, the one who's, you know, the one who benefactor, the benefactor, the one we all benefit from, and the one who redeems us and, and he has mercy. We can come to him for his mercy. So then we say Maliki Yomidi, which is the master of the day of judgment. We believe in Islam that there's a day of judgment and we'll stand before God, and God is the master of that day. And uh, and, and then it goes along, You alone, God, we worship, and you alone, we seek help. We're ask, we asking for guidance on the straight way. We're not, you know, we want to, we're asking to be on a straight path, but we want to be right, we want to be on the, the right way. We don't, you know, we don't want to be astray. We don't want to be lost. And then we say, uh, so then we say, uh, then we go on, Sirat al-Ladina and Amta alayhim, the path in which you have, that have bestowed your favors. We want to be on the path, we don't want to be on the path of destruction. We want to be on the path of God's mercy and, and the goodness that God gives. This is what we're asking for in our prayer. And then we say, Aghayrul mahmubi alayhim wa the path, not the path that have received your Anger, your 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 wrath, but the you know, and who have gone astray. We don't want to go that way. We want to go the way of those who are on the straight path. And that's a com That's the first opening uh, chapter of the Quran, um, in which is, is is commonly followed throughout the whole uh, uh, throughout the whole Muslim world. Everyone prays the same in Arabic, and uh, and it's the same prayers throughout the world. And so hopefully that's that's the the core. Not that, to, to make insignificant the rest of the prayer, but that's the core of the prayer and every prayer that we pray. Any other questions? So if you are praying five times a day, would you pray the same or do you take different parts? Um, we, well, the, the, the opening, which I said is the opening, we, uh, that, is, that is the same, but uh, uh, we can pick different selections from the, the Quran and uh, different choices of, of, of Chapters that we could recite. Um, it's just not. And it, they have a couple chapters here that are uh, actually here in the Quran. Um, uh, excuse me, surahs, chapters in the Quran that we could uh, that are recited. These are very. This is a very short one. After Fatiha, they recite a surah short after Fatiha. And this is an example of another short surah. Um, but it could be many other. Uh, there are hundred and hundred and uh, fourteen. Of them. Salah, we did it. That's you have to get ready for prayer yeah. and do that. 
He has answered the call because uh, many years back, or other areas where Islam is practiced, which is uh, considered a major religion, people were busy doing stuff. So when you hear the Azan, to get yourself prepared to come and join the group. The group prayer is uh, considered to have like 100%. Doing it individually is like having half of it. But it depends. So that's why we group together. And uh, because I don't know for who said Allah will accept the prayer as well. So the group prayer we like this uh, congregation, that's what we call congregation of prayer. So you see every Friday people go to the mosque, join together and pray. Any questions? Give the guest Any uh, question? In in the wudu, uh, what is the significance of the three three times washing? Uh, they would do, because as I said, because when you do it three times, there will be no spot remaining that the water is not touched. So just by rubbing it once, because you're using your palm, so it's a tradition those days. But we follow it because it's never been said not to continue. No, no, I don't know. Yeah, it's just uh, three times, just to make it sure it's making sure it's your. It's washed. I mean, once color. you might just kind of, yeah. you know, just to make sure you're taking your time and washing it. Just to, you do it once, you kind of just can be doing it kind of fast and you know, kind of going. But like, if you're doing it three times, you're just making sure you, you kind of have to take your time and make sure it's done properly. You're doing it three times and just making sure. And one hand washes it, you know, just making sure you're washing the other side and not just kind of throwing it on your body. Just making sure you're going through your do properly. Like, like you said, just making sure. It's, it's, Oh, the dry, the dry some, part, some parts of the world, you know, where there may not be water. There may be times where there's no water, and there's different, uh, there's different types of uh, wudu. Uh, there's a part, it's, uh, another part of wudu is like a, called a dry wudu where there's no water. It's called tayyamun. Like say if you're in the desert or if you're a part of the world or somewhere where you, there's no water, you can take dirt and strike it, and it can be done as a purification over your head and your ankles and you know your hands. It's just, it may seem as if you're being, making yourself dirty, and it may defeat the purpose of cleaning yourself, but actually it's just a symbolic of a purification as well. Is, is there a prayer that goes with the or is that just it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's not a prayer, but in the tradition of, of Prophet Muhammad, it's, 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 it's recommended to say, uh, when you complete, when you, before the prayer, before the wudu, you say, this you laugh in the name of God and his mercy. Yeah, you say, I just And you begin when you're done. Yeah, as, as give you me you say, I'm going to laugh in the name of God and his mercy. Which will mean there's nothing worthy of worship except God alone. And that when I'm going to use his After the movie, you can say, Allah is the Lord of the world. And that will be after the movie. But there's no specific prayer. Uh, for the movie. Just for the movie. Just a general prayer. Just a general prayer. Just a general prayer. Just a So important, and uh, because if you read the Bible, Moses gets close to when we getting close to God, the light that uh, we call it a uh, small fire bush, he told him to move his shoe, not to get closer. So we believe, and I said that if you're getting close to God, you have to purify yourself. So it's a matter of it's like a sign of purification. Yeah. You know, it's not like human beings like we touch each other or whatever. God is sacred. You know, so whatever you have, even the Quran itself, before you touch, you touch it, you have to perform it. You do. You have to be pure. It is written inside. No one should touch it except if you're pure. And women, too, they don't pray. You can, you can explain that to the woman side. Who cannot pray? Women pray certain times, they don't pray certain times. Can the sister dwell on that? Thank you.
once it's complete, you know, to, to go back and forth and, and, and continue to participate in the program. Yeah. Same with fasting as well. Uh, we fast uh, the month of Ramadan, and uh, women are exempt from fasting during the time of the menses uh, during the month, and they're exempt from uh, fasting and praying during the menses as well. Um, but again, uh, once the, the, the menses are completed, they you can know, have a wash your hands, go ahead and commence fasting and praying as well. But it, again, it's, it doesn't make you exempt from.
Already, all you have to do is to go in there and do more reading and more research, then you can enlighten yourself. Yeah. But we believe in one God also, he's invisible. We cannot see him, he can see us at any time. And anyway, it's closer to even according to the Quran than your veil, because it's going here. So anywhere you are, God is with you at all times. So you have to be conscious of God every moment, even if when you go to bed, and when you wake up, and you surround you. I just want to know what similarity. Come on, because I, I remember you mentioned about similarity. What similarity did you see? I mean, just our conversations of the one, one God, mm -hmm. um, the merciful. Mm -hmm. um, we believe the same, um, and then we're all to treat each other. Okay. Well, you know, no matter what your true beliefs are, who you are, if you uh, treat others the way you expect to be treated, okay. um, it's the way the earth will continue. Yeah. The yeah. way we continue to love each other. Things that we learn as novices about the way you practice uh, really resonated at least with me. Uh, again, like I said earlier, just sitting down and having a conversation in your environment uh, speaks volumes, and I appreciate that. Uh, you're always welcome, and I think I can speak for our community. You're always welcome at St. Mark's. If you'd like to explain. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's kind of glad to see that this younger generation actually can see it and listen to it instead of going by with some of the older generation and sitting just looking for yourself. I've also learned that controlling the Sunday school is the yeah. same no matter where
Any questions? Any others? Ahmed? They're at the end of their day. They know it's 1 o'clock. They'll get to it. Terrence will be coming in any time now. They're at the end of their day. So how long have they been? This is the average interest education fee. Yes. So how long have they been here? They've been here since 10 o'clock. Start at 10 and they go to 3. It's just for 3 hours. And we have stages. Standard, then second level, third level, fourth level. You have to know the characters. Know them, identify them. Just like ABC. Then we put them together. Later on we add vowels to sound. Then we pronounce. From pronunciation. Why do you pronounce it? You learn the meaning. Because the meaning is already written in English. Well, there is no true meaning for some of the Arabic words. So we try to make sure we get close, not to alter. But the danger, as we say, of saying something that altering the meaning of the word itself leads to considered denial. So we have stages like the little ones here, my daughter, Salima is there. He can say the character. Mohammed is our Quran teacher. So he teaches the Quran, speaking of the Quran, and the letters and the stages of the Quran. Do you want to have a question? Saturday 
Saturday mornings at sunrise? Halak. Yes. Yeah. The, 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 it's called like a, a halakha. Halakha. Yep. Halakha. Like a study time. Yep. And uh, that's what time that? that's at six o'clock. Six o'clock. It's at six o'clock every Saturday morning. Um, that's a little tough, uh, but we do have other ones. There's uh, different. I know uh, there's like a sisters class, and they have like a brothers uh, different classes. Uh, I don't know exactly outside of the Saturday morning. Um, I know there's a uh, there's one at Friday evenings. Uh, Friday evenings uh, at six thirty, I believe. There was having one Friday evening at six o'clock, and then there's one during the week. I don't know exactly when. And there's separate times. I know the uh, sisters, I believe, have one. Uh, there's a actual actually there's a um, a group a uh, male study group that's going to start now. They're not downstairs. There's a male study group that they come in. If you're interested in would like to study, uh, you're more than welcome. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دار البلاغ للإنتاج والتوزيع تقدم اللهم انفعنا ورفعنا بالقرآن العظيم الذي أيدت سلطانه وقلت يا أعز من قائل سبحانه فإذا قرأناه فاتبع قرآنه ثم إن علينا بيانه أحسن